privilege to be given a chance to reminisce their pageant journeys with them. So without further ado, let's all welcome Miss Bilibini Pilipinas 2004 and Miss World Top 2004 Top 5 finalist Carla Bautista Shao and Binibini Pilipinas World 2006, Anna Marie Sigpit. Hello, girls. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Maayong gabi. <laughs> Magandang gabi. <laughs> yes, mom. Yes, and then naman nagmama ko. But thank you. Thank you, Anna and Carla, for creating this interview. You, to be honest, I don't know if this interview request will be granted to me considering that I only started it pageantry uh, in 2016. So I have no way of getting in touch with you both. But luckily, Sir Mark Elizondo was able to make things possible. So thank you. Thank you for, for saying yes Thanks, to this Mark. interview. Our pleasure. Thank you, Mark. Hi, Sir Mark. Thank you for making this possible. So good evening, ladies. I alam ko, um, Yung Reino was like a decade ago, pero until now, Ouch. a lot of passion fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's been more than a day. No, it's okay, ma'am. Okay lang yun. Parang nostalgia talaga. We're, we're, we're up for some reminiscing and nostalgia. So, it's been more, than, Carla, Anna, it's been more than a decade since you both won your respective title title uh titles in bini bini Pilipinas kamusta na kayo Well we're doing good busy I'm busy with uh, work with family <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Yeah same with me um Yeah same with me I'm busy I've I moved to Sydney now so I'm in Australia now um, I moved here in 20, 2014. So, wala. Um, ganun pa rin. Same, same. <laughs> How has married life treated you both? <laughs> well, um, I, I, I could say I'm blessed that I'm in a happy... We are both very blessed now. We've married our best friends. So, you know, um still in the honey if not honeymoon stage all the time but we're we're very blessed to be with with someone that we we are very um happy with and we have now our in my case three kids so yun. <laughs> <laughs> yes talagang you guys are really aging gracefully walang kupas pa rin ang mga ganda nyo kay, kay... <laughs> Naku, <laughs> make up lang yan at angle <laughs> Anna, what about you? How long have you been married? I know. I was I was messaging Carla. Sabi ko, oh my god, ready ka na? Hindi na ako marunong mag makeup. <laughs> and I said, appear. Appear. Oh my god. Same with me, Adam. Your priorities have changed. Yes, priorities have changed. So, yes, priorities <laughs> have changed. Alam mo, nang chineko yung makeup ko kanina, ang dami expired. So I'm using like a lot of expired makeup. <laughs> so good luck to skin ko tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't been using them. I don't use makeup anymore. So parang yung mga kilay-kilay na lang, mga pa-pink-pink ng cheeks and lips, ganun na lang. Pero, yeah, it has definitely changed. Um, you know, Carla and I, we're, we are both in each other's weddings. So ganun kami ka, we like... We go a long way. Yes, you go a long way. It's not only bini bini. Dami na kita ng daanan like together. <laughs> so we know Including each other. Including tequila shots. And... Yes, exactly. Yes, from ups and downs. <laughs> Pero <laughs> yung mga ano natin morning the night. But um, yeah, married na kami. We have kids. We're both moms now, but still like driven in our own careers. So I think that's what make, makes me proud of the both of us. Uh, I wish I could meet your husbands, respective husbands, but yeah, so wala eh, talaga, hindi ko kayo naabutan, ma'am eh. <laughs> High school student pa lang yata, ah yeah, college student, oh, college student na ako, or working already, or fresh graduate when you both 
parade your, uh, when you both pursued your Bini Bini Pilipinas dream. So speaking of that, ma'am, how do you feel when you still get tag? When both when you both still get tag with a lot of your photos in Bini Bini Pilipinas on Instagram from time to time? Do you still feel kilig? Yes, there's a kilig, but most of the time I feel old. Like, oh my God, it's like this is like so many years ago. Para, it was a, a ago. different me. Para, para a different world. Like, sobrang yeah. different from what the, from the world I'm in right now. But yeah, still still flattering and still it's still very I know very fun to to reminisce about the good old days. Yun na nga, good old days na siya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this na <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sometimes na oh my god, ang payat ko pala dati. <laughs> oh my god, it's like 30 pounds ago. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> diba? So parang, um, but yes, you know, sometimes I get kilig. Um, it's, it's really flattering na the pageant community still tags us, alam mo yun, parang still remembers us, tapos nagpo-follow pa rin sila, tapos minsan like nag-DM sila and asking us questions about, you know, our experiences before, so it's good. <laughs> parang part ka pa rin ng community. Yes, yes, you know, once a bini-bini talaga, always a bini-bini. <laughs> so, ma'am, I understand, si Anna, I understand, really loves to travel and go to the beach. Now, hypothetically, if the pandemic were to be over mm -hmm. tomorrow, where would you go locally and internationally? Locally, I like, you mean in Australia or Philippines? Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Of domestic sa yo, Australia na. Uh, Carla Australia. Din, parang, where do you both want to go? Yeah. International and domestically uh, once the pandemic is over. Australia, siguro. I've never been to mm, Tasmania. So, not really that. My beaches are done, but they're not really known for their beaches. But I've always wanted to go there. Um, we were meant to be like in the Gold Coast for New Year's Eve. But we had like a cluster case here in Sydney. So, dami parang binalik agad yung restrictions, nag lockdown yung ibang community. So, sinara nila yung borders. So, um, wala, we had to cancel it. But we still went to the beach anyway for a week. So, I'm happy na yung husband ko wow. is like, like <laughs> my husband is like me. Like, parang we can stay at the beach the whole day. Like, pwede lang kami like, maka, maka, ano do, nakatunganga do at the beach. Like, from uh, 7 a.m. in the morning until like sunset. Alam mo, like we're both the same. So I'm lucky to be in that partnership. So it's international naman. Oh, we wanna if we have always wanted to go back to Italy and then go to Sicily. Oh, I've never so, been to both Italy. South. So ngayon na mag dream na lang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for now. They dreaming muna tayo until we finally yeah. get that vaccine. <laughs> diba? So, how's True. the situation there? How's the situation there in uh in Australia? Sydney, there in Sydney. Australia. Lockdown pa rin kayo. No, no. Wala kaming lockdown. May com yung community lang na <clears throat> nagka-case. So, um, we're lucky that the government here is really quick in make decisions when it comes to um like mga lockdowns, restrictions. So, nung nagka-cluster like four four people, nila lockdown nila yung whole like let's say para siyang city uh, no city like a bar like barangay parang ganoon ni lockdown nila kaagad tapos um tapos yung mga tao dito nagpapa-test talaga like they don't get scared they really line up they would wait in the car for like hours just to get tested so they're very proactive um which is very good so hindi kami masyadong natatakot if may mga cases kasi we know that we get a response right away from the government. So far, okay naman. Like, we're, well, for the first time, com even compared nung last year, nagmamandatory na ng mask dito. Yes. So that was just implemented a few weeks ago, which was, um I think, should have been implemented nung last year pa. Really? Pero, yeah, earlier pa. But it's good. Like, you know, you feel safer to go inside shopping centers, and go grocery, or even like, Tra public transportation but ano na parang slowly creeping into normalcy kasi back to work na rin ako eh like 
to like back to the office twice a week. Para yes. voluntary basis siya. So it's up to you if you want to go back or you want to work from home. True. Okay. What about you, Carla? Naman? Where do you want to go internationally once the In- pandemic is over? Internationally, our, our favorite go-to place is always Japan. Like the family, Ooh. the whole, the, my kids love it there. So oh, always, I've never been parang, there. Every, like, every year, parang we always go there. So now the kids are missing out. Like they're always asking me, Mommy, when the vaccine is here, when the coronavirus is gone, can we go back to Japan? Parang yun yung go-to nila because there's Disneyland, there's, there's snow, there's good food. So yeah, yun yung nami miss out namin yung family travels and yeah. my quick ano my quick date trips with my hub, hubby because usually a, in a year we go parang quick trips na just the two of us for 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 two nights lang with the permission of our kids <laughs> two nights lang bigay sa amin na uh, ala uh, permission me time <laughs> permission beyond that beyond that they have to be with us na. <laughs> <laughs> at least me two days credit. Yeah, at least you get two nights kami we can't. Wala kaming yaya. Wala ako nang yaya dito. Iwan mo dito. Iwan mo dito inaanak mo. Iwan. But <laughs> that's talagang domesticated na talaga kayo, no? Talagang ibang-iba na talaga yung buhay niyo. Tapos Carla, I also check your Instagram. You really love to to bake. So ano yun dahil ba may sweet tooth ka? What do you love to bake? No, actually I don't like pastries too much but the baking kasi started when Anna knows this when I got pregnant with my first child I was so bored because I was on bed rest so I would sneak in downstairs and bake like parang just learning by myself but our self thought until yon naging parang it's a stress reliever na for me so when I'm so what in law school when I'm so tired of studying I would pause and then just bake and then my kids uh, in the middle of the night, would just ask me, "Mommy, I'm brownie hungry or I'm cupcake hungry." <laughs> so <laughs> I would have to indulge them and be. Ako yun dante. That was me before, de ba kai? Before your kids, <laughs> I'd go to her house uh, and then ako yung like, test, test, test. Uh, kai, I want cupcakes. I want yeah. cupcakes. I want cupcakes. Oh, it's what about? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dati, dati nung nasa Pilipinas dati, pa si Anna. Uh, oh. Yeah. What about you, Anna? What do you like to bake naman or whip up in the kitchen now that um, you are domesticated? For, I like cooking more. Um, I don't like oh. you measuring, measuring. Um, yeah, wala akong patience with baking kasi it's all like measured na konting kasi like wala na. So I like cooking because you can just like add this and that. Um, yun natuto ako magluto dito. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm so proud of yeah. you. Um, I had to learn. I know, Kai. I know how to cook. Now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your signature dish, course, Anna? No, at the beginning, I had to like my signature dish. Um. My husband loves adobo. He loves chicken afritad. He loves Filipino food. So I'm so lucky. He loves pancit. My son loves pancit so much. Um, so Bumba really Filipino food. But I tried to cook as I tried to cook like more Aussie or a bit of Italian. Because Italian yung family ng husband ko. Because I gusto ko para masana yung anak ko. Um, Baka kasi magbaon siya ng rice at hotdog pag <laughs> pag gusto na kaso. Gusto kong masanay siya sa body na food para naman ma, alam mo yun, hindi siya masyadong masyak when he goes to school. So, I try to like cook once in a while ng mga new dishes. Uh, talagang 180 degrees na talagang turn talaga yung nangyari sa mga buhay nyo no? after you have embarked a very successful binibining Pilipinas pa- pageant career. So, let's now go to that, uh, to your journey. Palikan po natin yung nangyari a decade ago. Kayo ba talaga, ma'am? Have you always both wanted to become a beauty queen? Well, I think every little girl dreams of having, you know, a crown on her head and wearing this I know, gorgeous gown and all, but I never really thought na like like it was my goal or something, but it was more of my mom's dream for me. So she's a frustrated beauty queen. 
because she came from a very conservative family, parang my my lolo will not let her join anything, mga ganon. So, even when I was little, like, she would always instill me, oh, you're gonna be binibini Pilipinas, you're gonna be blah, 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 blah. So, parang I grew up thinking, okay, uh, that's parang part of my to-do list. So, parang <laughs> part of a checklist. So, yun, parang when I joined, Oops. I started with Miss Cebu. It was, I joined, actually, I was hesitant, but I joined because that same year, my mom passed away. So it was like my tribute to her. So finally, I joined, and then right after that, Bini Bini. What about you, Anna? Ako naman, um, it wasn't a dream when I was a kid. Um, pero dream siya ng mga taong nagsusurround sa akin. Alam mo yun, yung parang, may tita kang, uy, bagay, kay, bagay sa'yo mag, ano, mag universe. Uy, ganyan. Sumali ka ganito. Alam mo yun? Tapos na maging balaga na ako, I grew up like tall, na slim. Parang um, nakita ako ng friend, ng kabatchmate ng mama ko. Tapos sabi niya, uy, sali natin siya sa Miss Bohol. Parang ganon. So, ayun. I think that was the, the start part of my pageant journey. Tapos, unlike Carla, Carla kasi parang ano na siya eh, diretso siya sa mga mabibigating, ano, <laughs> bigating pageant. Ako, I went through a lot. As in, ano ako, parang, oh. um, from barangay. I was everywhere. Hindi naman na ako nag-barangay. I should have tried it, but <laughs> I went through like, uh, Miss Mahal was my first and then I won first runner-up. I was like 16 years old and then noon alam mo parang may mga nakaka-discover na sa yung mga um, mentors talent mga scouts. ano ta sabi oh talent scouts na uy ganyan sali ka dito ganyan ganyan so I went to like kasi I live in Cebu even though my my both of my parents are from Bohol um, but I lived in Cebu my whole life so uh, I went to Miss Talisay Miss Mandawe na ako Miss Danao alam mo ba nang sorry Oh, pa ako. oh my God, ang dami-dami kong napunta ang pageants. <laughs> so, um, until, pero dream ko talaga was to to snatch the ano. Kasi first runner-up ako ng pinaka-first ko Miss Bohol, diba? Which was, I was 16 years old. Dream ko talaga siyang balikan at gusto kong manalo. So, parang sabi ko, de, babalikan ko talaga si Miss Bohol. Tapos ang dami nagsabi sa akin, uy, medyo malaking risk yun. Kasi first runner-up ka, so parang it's either you win or wala. Alam yun, kasi kailangan kung uh, bababa yung placement mo, parang ang pangit naman. Sabi ko, hindi. I'm, I'm gonna win. Parang I was so confident. So, after I won a Miss Bohol, ayun na. Si Carla nagbinibini, so parang, alam mo yun, parang nililook up muna na, uy, baka, alam mo yun, ito na yung next. Okay. Tapos I, yun, I, I si Carla. I am sister. <laughs> yes. Actually, alam mo ba, Adam, yung story namin <laughs> ni Carla kung bakit ako nag-join ng video. Kai, I don't know if you remember this, but I told you, Kai, I had a dream. Tapos sabi niya, ano, like, I had a dream na nag-join ako. Oh, I had a dream of you and um, Carlene Aguilar. Tapos sabi niya, oh my God, that's a sign, that's a sign you should join Binibini. <laughs> so, parang yun na. I was sabi with her during the... Atin. The screening. Screening. The yes. I, I, was a, I, I lived with her. Diba? We shared a room. I was yes. Thinking, oh, this is what you're gonna do. This is what... Parang like, like a big sister talaga. <laughs> As oh, in, that's... Like... Siyempre, talagang ano, so, no? Talagang... talagang Tapos nagkatotoo, di ba? Nagkatotoo. I Talagang was more to... <laughs> nervous on, pageant, on her pageant night than on my pageant night. Talaga! <laughs> Talaga. So, so no. ma'am, no, ah, sorry ma'am, nag-end. Ma'am na naman. <laughs> 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 so, Marie, so finally, nung, ayan, nung both your time, when you both uh, joined Binibining Pilipinas during your respective time, so ano yun, were you more excited than scared or scared more than excited? Nung nag-screening na kayo, ayan na. In my case, I was um excited, but I was also, you know, um hesitant kasi you know i'm I, i'm from cebu parang i feel like i was i'm not as prepared as the other girls but that, that was the time na ate maricar 
um was uh already was already a forerunner because she has been diba she has been the second runner up previously and then atemaan also so para i was a i was a new kid on the block i did i didn't have any experience like anna said i only joined miss cebu and then bini bini kaagad so parang i was this provinciana i didn't have a lot of supporters although my dad is from rizal but i i was i brought the the cebu name into the into the pageant so i my supporters in were from Cebu talaga so different diba when you're in a in a foreign or a foreign place for me eh. but nevertheless I, I i had i had fun i was very determined na i no i'm gonna make Cebu proud i'm gonna make my 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 mom really proud so yun <laughs> <laughs> what about you anna same i think same parang it was a mix um excited kasi for me for me kasi so experiences ko with the page especially in like mga local um competitions province cities parang it's a show for me it's a performance so na excited ako sa thought na yon na excited ako na i'm gonna be on a show i'll be performing but i was i was also scared at the same time kasi ano yun, parang manila na yun eh, na, national level so ako sino kayo yung mga sasali dito tapos ang dami dami ano yung ang dami dami pang mga dag, nagpa screen eh ba yung sa time namin kasi yun yung umagahan kasi like until the morning di ba parang afternoon kayo magsa start until morning talaga hanggang magdamagan yung, yung top as in magdamagan talaga yun yung time namin so it was so nerve-wracking tapos parang ang lamig-lamig na kasi nakatupis ka lang doon sa some I, I forgot where we were Araneta <laughs> tapos parang you have to wait for alam you have to wait for your turn you have to wait for everyone's everyone's turn para matapos lahat eh hello mailang girls yun mga 200 girls tapos 20 lang kukunin nila mga ganun so yun parang scary for me so parang for me as being as a candidate in Bini Bini was already a big thing. Parang yeah. Ko lang na, yeah, it was a big thing for me. So, nung naging Bini Bini Pilipinas title holder na kayo, what was your fondest memory of your reign? Any unforgettable experiences with Madame? That's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would always remember yung being, ano, being locked down in our <laughs> Yeah! Locked down? Where? I know, right? <laughs> Ganun kami sa time namin, may lockdown kami. So, the lockdown, lockdown time is not a first time practice. <laughs> <laughs> Sanay na kami. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we have to stay in Araneta because we would have trainings and, you know, all my our other beauty queen sisters would be taking turns and, you know, sharing their experiences with us, training us. It's all naman for our, ano, for our training. Pero yung thought, oh my God, I cannot go home. I'll be literally be sleeping there parang lockdown talaga yeah and that's like a month kai no was it like a month yes yeah oh. but you know what yeah. yes but you know what i have to say that lockdown thing in bini bini during our time when they were training us um it helped a lot because when you're in the international pageants Nina kami na homesick in my experience ha a lot of the girls would like really break down and would want to go home. Mayroon akong girl during my time na umuwi talaga kasi parang na homesick. Pero kami kasi parang ano ka na eh, hasang hasa ka na na wala yung family mo. Huh? Just um, one ma? I'm going to love you and I'm Oo, so mga ganun. So monitored lahat. Actually, um, siguro yun yung mga isa din sa mga hindi ko makakalimutan. Kasi we have to sleep in Araneta. Tapos, lahat ng mga ano namin, fittings namin, ganun din. Magdamagan. Tapos, nakikita namin yung mga paintings. Di ba, Kai? <laughs> mga paintings <laughs> dati. Sa Araneta. Na parang mga, may mga large picture, <laughs> large frames of mga unknown, mga, yun, basta. <laughs> mga beauty queen, mga black and white pa. <laughs> oh, Oh, grabe na paka memorable talaga. So, you know, <laughs> pareho kayong binibini Pilipinas world title holders during your time. So, 
I'm curious to ask, what, what, what was it like to compete in a pageant where no Filipina had ever won during that during your time? <laughs> For me, I found it very challenging. Actually, when I joined Binibini, I've always hoped to win that. But there's this question that they would ask you, which crown would you like to win? Yes. And mm -hmm. I answered that I really want to win the Miss World crown because I want to be the first uh, Filipina to to win the the Miss World title. I want to I wanna give it my best shot and hopefully I'll get to bring home that title. It's a new challenge for me. That's why I wanted to be uh, world. Mm. What about you, Anna? Yeah, it was a challenge, but you know what? Now that I, that now that I was thinking about it, like going back, feeling for that I was too young. Eh. I was eighteen when I competed. Parang minsan yung parang blurry sa akin yung experience ko ng Miss World. It was just like I was just too young. I was not mature enough i didn't have experience parang i was feeling ko i was just there to have fun parang i was not that, wala yung desire masyado to win this world oh so what was it so honest, so we, parang ganun yung ganun yung experience ko ma talaga both interesting perspective ah. kasi si si Car Carla said that you know she really wanted to miss world considering na you know pag tinanong mo lahat ng mga girls bakit mo gusto sumali ng Philippines because i want to be the next miss universe so, oh, tapos si si Anna naman you naman mm -hmm. Anna talaga wala you were just having fun considering na and dami mo ng pageant experiences in the provinces pero you came to binibining Pilipinas na talagang chill lang fun wala kang okay wala kong Bahala na ako. Bahala na ba si Batman? Parang kung Universe World International Runner Up or even semis. Um, I, of course, parang the main goal for me. Unlike Carla, she really wanted the world. During ako siguro parang I wanted the universe. Um, but I was happy to get the world title as well. Um, pero when I was in this world, parang feeling ko lang I wasn't that, you know, like determined to really like win the crown Ooh. yeah i don't know i don't know why i don't know why i don't know why um at that moment siguro at that moment para kasi this, this pageant girl within me talaga yun parang ano talaga competitive parang at that time siguro para i really wanted to win pero now that i'm 33 and i'm looking back parang you yeah, know parang i didn't really wanted to win. Alam mo yun, wala yung masyadong, wala akong masyadong hunger that time when I competed. Yeah, I don't know why, but it was different. Ma'am, nun, wait, ah, yan na naman, mama. When you were both competing for Binibini Pilipinas, was it as cutthroat as how it is right now, na competitive kayo? How were you sizing up the competition back then? And do you think, were you already a favorite leading up to the coronation night? I think major different during our time because not to say that it's more cutthroat now, but I think the girls now are like are more prepared and like they're all very driven and you know like they they prepare two years or a year for it like parang they all they're all joined to win that's all diba? parang uh -huh. you either you do or you don't parang ganon but in out in on in my case parang me yes they're of course you're competitive of course you want you want to join you want you want to win but i think must friend i'm not i'm not saying na mas ano ngayon, but it was friendlier it was a friendlier atmosphere like kasi ako in my case i was one of the youngest so everyone was like ate to me so i didn't feel that they were like they were like threatened or i would get help from those girls who've been joining pageants for for longer times so that they would help me with my makeup they would assist me like parang it was like a sisterhood na, at just at the end of the night meron lang crown to go to three lucky girls but not as i don't know not as as competitive as maybe now <laughs> mm. yeah oh, anyway. okay I think I agree with Carla as well. Um, parang dati kasi during, during our time, there was so much mystery eh, in the pageant. 
parang, uy, ano mangyayari? Like, what do you do? Alam mo yun, parang ang daming, and when you're, when you're outside looking in, parang, uy, ano kayang mga nangyayari dyan? Ngayon kasi with social media, social media plays a big part now in the pageant industry, the pageant world. Kasi, ang, ang dami nakikita, kita mo na yung mga girls having their makeup done, Diba parang they're getting ready. Dati, there's so much mystery eh. Parang nakikita mo na lang yung mga girls na malabas na wala, nakabihis na. And parang you have to go to the competition. You have to go to Araneta. You have to go to the activities to actually see the girls. Now, parang cell phone na lang. You can already see them. You can even see the what happens backstage, what happens um yung daily life nila. So, siguro mas relatable yung mga candidates now. Um, kaya lang parang mas yun, mas madali lang ma-reach ng mga yun, siguro mga criticisms and bashers, so uh-huh. I don't know I don't know how it is with, when, it ter- when it comes to like boosting the self-morale I don't know how it affects them but sa amin parang you have to log in to like misosology, to like mabuhay beauties <laughs> To really read the comments, ano yung mga inuokrain nila sa'yo. So you have the choice actually read it or not. Um, you can just say, I'm not gonna read it para hindi ma yung performance. So, but now, people tag you. People like DM you. Yes, so, yes. It must be so, like, I'm sure it's so different. So I'm kind of happy I'm not competing at this, <laughs> at this age. I, I don't know how I would deal with it. Um, yeah, so, ano talaga, kodos to the girls who are competing now. It's such a different world. So, do you feel lucky na parang hindi nyo na-experience yan nung mga panahon nyo? Na talagang, wala, parang wala kayong iniintinding ganitong aspect ng competition where you really have to manage your own social media account while you are competing abroad yeah. or as a binibining Pilipinas title holder? Yes, parang we had less worries then. Parang all we had to mm. worry about was like smile when there's a camera. Parang look and wave. Look pretty. <laughs> and then parang yun lang. Now parang you have to be conscious about what you do because everybody looks at you. Everybody sees you. So yun. Yeah, even mm. during my competition, I, I would even be... During Bini Bini, I remember I would be riding public transportation going to Araneta. I would ride that an FX because I I live in Muntalban. That's like an hour or two away from Araneta. And I would go to Araneta for trainings. And sometimes, um, hindi ako nahahatid. So I have to take the public transport. Parang I have to wear flats. I have to be like just wear my hair in a bun and not wear makeup. Parang we had now i think big me beauty queen na ganyan, everybody would recognize everybody would be posting na oh this person is here now or something parang yun, parang i think we were allowed to be as natural as we can be mm. parang yeah. less less pressure to to always look good or to be you know to be presentable yun. Mm-hmm. But I, I never felt any pressure to undergo plastic surgery or, or whatever just so i could you know, live up to the standards, to to the people's standards of how I should look or how I should act. Parang yun, mas less, less pressure maybe in a good way. Yeah. So, for me, yeah. so how were you both training for your respective international competitions? Did you guys have a... Kasi ngayon uso na yung mga gram teams, no? Di ba? Pag karay-karay yan ang mga Bilipinis, when, when, whatever they in wherever they go, uh, shoots, events, appearances. So, kayo no team yo, how they were, were they grooming you and training you for pageants? Kasi ngayon, may mga pageant camps na rin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Well, we had we camps were, in our days. Yeah, we had camps. We were both with Kaganda Florence. Florence, yes. Hi, Peter Rajil. <laughs> Hi, Peter Rajil. I actually messaged him to watch. <laughs> Hi, Sir Rajil. We had camps, but in my case, I didn't get the chance to really train with them because parang I'm from I'm from Cebu so I only go to Ma- I only go to to Manila during events parang ganon. and then I had to stay na in Manila when when I won but prior to Bini Bini I like I just go there for the audition for for events and then for the uh for the competition na so I never had a chance to undergo rigid 
training. During naman, after naman the, the after naman binibini, we, we had um, my batch, I think, uh, um, Maan and Ati Maan and Maricar, they were sent to to Colombia to train, but I didn't go. So... <laughs> Sneaky siya. <laughs> Nag-drama so, si Carla. So, 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 I stayed. But they, uh, I remember I had, uh, of course, we all, all Binibinis go through training with our fellow, uh, our sister Binibinis. Like, they would really go to to Aranet every day to help us to share, you know, to share the experiences to train. We had help from you know, Dale Carnegie for personality development. Um, we had trained for uh, we have trainings from our mentor like Tito, like in our case Tito Rogel, ganon. And then I remember in my case there was there was also this group of um, Colombian um, guys who went to Manila to te- to teach me basic makeup. To kasi nga, I didn't go to Colombia, so <laughs> Madam said, okay, you're not going. So yon, parang may na- I don't know if she did it on purpose or the timing lab that they were in Manila, but I remember they went there. I just, I was surprised. And one day I was in Araneta, there was this two or three guys who like uh, brought me to a room, taught me how to walk and, and pasarela and makeup, brought me to the mall and brought all this makeup, these perfumes for me to bring to, to Miss World. So, di ka naman natakot nun, Miss Car- eh, Carla, na ano na... Alam mo yun, parang bigla kang, oh, sino mga to? Parang walang <laughs> I, I was surprised kasi parang, oh, is this what I get? Kasi hindi ako pumunta ng Columbia. <laughs> Can't you remember their names anymore? <laughs> it was quick. Ah, oh, Crash yeah. Force, Crash. Didn't you remember their names? Yes, like, it was like two or three days lang. Crash Course. Maybe a, a week before I had to leave. Yes. Ooh. Kaya pala, but of course, part. before that, before Anna and I joined Bini Bini, we had help from from our mentors here in Cebu. Also, like we belong to Models Association of Cebu, so we had help from from our agent and our good friend Chikoy. We had help from the Cebu makeup artist. Chikoy. I remember, Hi, Chikoy. Um, uh, Mami Wen Wen, uh, a very good makeup artist from Cebu. Yes, she, Mami, she really that... taught me how to do my makeup. I had. Um, Mm. I had pep talks from from Jude Bacal, so I had like we had help from 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 our friends also in the fashion industry in Cebu. Ah, pero no nakakatuwa no yung mga ganyang mga last minute training yo, parang super familiar talaga ng setup. What about you, Anna? Ano um same 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 kami with Carla um. We were pageant camps already, pero dati hindi siya welcome sa binigini, so nagtatakasan yeah. kami, oh, wow. takas ganyan, <laughs> de ba? Hindi pwede bawal, so um, nung lockdown time na with sa Araneta, yun talaga hindi ka pwede. But pag may time, kung pwede ng lumabas training, so training ako with Tito Rogel, um, yung team ni Tito Rog, yun talaga help me a lot. Na, um, tapos and dami ko ring um si Carla tinrain din ako ni Carla um yung mga binibini sisters so si meron din ako with their Christmas party dati um i had a polish instructor kasi i i went to Poland yeah, you competed so in i had Poland. a polish yes i had a polish instructor who taught me like the language history so yun that was very handy for me because it was a different language i had to really like um, you know, impress everyone there because parang Poland and Philippines Catholic country so parang merong commonality so parang dun namin, dun talaga yung ano namin, yung, yung parang ano ko ang tawag dito parang yun yung naging weapon ko <laughs> when I went there um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of the same but y- yun nga, parang ang daming bawal during our time so hindi siya as maluwag ngayon. Um, tapos wala ka gym. <laughs> I don't know, si Carla, nag-gym ba? <laughs> Basta ako, no, wala ka gym-gym dati. I had, no, I had an operation prior to Miss Rowe. Oh, yes, right. Oh. So I didn't go to the gym. Ju- I think 
June or July, I had a ruptured yeah. current cyst. So yon. Kaya my poses, if you notice, anecdote. My poses, Miss Rob, I was covering the right, my right. It wasn't just to pose. I was covering a big scar, cause I had the. Uh, yeah, like a big scar. Like, before. I, I, oh. had, I couldn't like do heavy workouts. I I I I, I literally, literally couldn't train. Cause I was back on my feet maybe like two months na lang before going to to Miss World. Ano ba? Pero ma'am, no, it's a surgery or a, a, an operation na you couldn't really forego. Kahit kunyari, no, it parang was an emergency kasi. surgery. It ruptured. We didn't know. That I, oh. I just had this. I remember I, I was I was riding a public, like, nag-commute pa ako from my training in Araneta to go home. And I couldn't move sa pain. I was in the front seat of an FX. And then someone was sitting... I, I was near the door and someone was on the left. Parang gusto, she needed to go down now because it was her stop. Parang ako, I, I, parang, oh my God, I cannot move because of the pain. But I couldn't tell anyone. Parang gan, grabbing painful na siya. The moment I, re- I arrived home, I had I had to walk from the subdivision um, entrance to the house because I think it would be more painful for, for me to ride a tricycle to go. Because I had to bend, parang ganun. So I had to walk. The moment I got inside the door, I collapsed. Ganon siya ka painful. Oh, so painful. They had, but, yeah, they had to bring me to the hospital and yun na nga. But thank God you were able to recover just in the nick of time. Yes, but but I didn't I didn't get as much training as I should. I didn't work out as much as I should. Pero uh, but top five, de ba? <laughs> pero you were meant. I ano, Pero ma'am, de ba? Ibig sabihin you were still meant to place high. Yes, kaya yes. kaya SME was very surprised with me because she never expected anything from me. Parang she was not disappointed na on me because I was not focused. Parang ganun. Uh huh. Pero may reason ko naman, mommy. Eh. You were on, uh, no, in severe pain, eh. Parang, syempre, you really be distracted with your training because you were really, you know, feeling something, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, ma'am, now that we're talking about your inter- international competitions, how do you feel when a lot of people still remember your Miss World gowns? You know, because even until now, we pageant fans really talk about it more than, you know, more than 20, almost 20 years after. Na, sino pa nag-design ng mga gowns nyo? And what was, the, what was the process in terms of design of, in terms of the design of the evening gowns? To be candid about it, I saw my gown like, I think, a week or less before I went to Miss World. I didn't have any hand with the design or with with the parang I it just arrived. I thought I I never expected I'm getting a new gown. Parang it just arrived and then I thank God when I fitted it, it fitted like a glove like a glove. So yun yun lang. And I was pleasantly very pleasantly surprised. Now it was it was really gorgeous. Parang I love that gown. You couldn't uh-huh. feel you know like like elegant and beautiful if you get to wear that that gown. I oh, love ka talaga ni Madam, ma'am, kasi ang ganda ng gown mo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Di ba? Oh, love talaga siya ni Madam. <laughs> may ganun eh, may mga ganung stories <laughs> daw eh. Kailangan bumawi to sa gown, hindi to focus, dapat maganda talaga. Kahit sa gown man lang. <laughs> Wala Iba mo ang pinagkagasasan ko pa rin. <laughs> what about you, Anna? We never got to see your gown HD. Kahit I man know. ng HD. Um, oh. As in, kasi wala pa kami, wala pang social media dati. And I don't carry a camera, a smartphone with me dati. So, wala na siya ng pictures. Um, but it was a beautiful gown. It was made by Baraza. As same with Carla, I never fitted it. It arrived in my hotel room a few days before the pageant. Although I know that there was a gown from Baraza, kasi parang naiyita na yung design. Merong tatlo na pinapakita sa akin, but walang fitting. Asin like sinabihan lang kami na 
Ito yung measurement. So, you have to fit yourself into it. 21 yung bewang. Sabi ko, oh my ikaw God. Ikaw ang mag-adjust. Ikaw ang mag-adjust. Ikaw mag-adjust. <laughs> para, para, oo. Ikaw talaga mag-adjust. So, kung hindi ka ka siya, wala. <laughs> Nanga ka dun. So, nung nandun ako, so, dumating na yung gown. Sabi ko, oh my God, it's so nice. Pero kasi meron na background ng designs na binigay sa akin. Para. It was, um, inspired by the Walling Walling Orchid in Davao. Um, kaya parang purple na nagiging pink na gold. Tapos, um, ang ganda-ganda talaga. Tap, super ganda-ganda yung mga candidates na si Miss Poland. Ah, hindi. Hindi si Miss Poland pala. Merong, ako, merong sponsor doon ng vodka <laughs> na company sa nung Miss World sa Poland. Yung girlfriend niya is medyo young. Pumunta talaga siya sa backstage kasi gusto niyang bilhin yung gown ko. Tapos sinabi nung sponsor na guy na, how much is your gown? Name their price. Sabi ko, I'm so sorry I signed the agreement that I have to like, ano, I have to return this. Yes. Um, tapos Osmel of Venezuela went to the backstage kasi kinagano niya yung gown ko. Like, like parang, alam mo yun, <laughs> tinitingnan niya yung gown. So, yeah, it was um, color pink, really, right? It was so. beautiful. Yes, it is it is beautiful kasi may beadwork niya. Tapos pag nasa stage ka, parang sobrang ano siya. Um, numulo talaga siya. Kaya lang lang ng bust. So, insert ako ng insert ng mga best friends. <laughs> kasi ano, parang siguro tini- iniisip ni Baraza, yun ang hindi ko pwedeng iano, pagkasahin talaga. <laughs> Nagkulang uh-huh. ako doon. So, nung ano, pageant time, I just have to like do whatever para lang mag stay yung bus ko. Um, but the the length and everything was really like perfect. Mom, ang ganda talaga ng kaw yung pero hindi ka ba nang hinayang na at least hindi mo I mean hindi ka naka push through all the way kahit semis para man na mabigyan ng exposure ng bonggang bongga yung gown mo on stage because we've been trying to look our best to look for that for an HD photo of that gown. Diba? Alam mo, palagi, sina, palagi sinasabi ni Madam sa akin na <clears throat> kasi ganda-ganda din siya sa gown na yun. Sabi niya, one day, magpapapageant, uh, magpapafashion show daw siya sa mga ano, beauty queens. Tapos, um, i- 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 ilalabas na yung gown na yun. Kaya sabi niya, ano, I'll let you know, ganyan-ganyan. Akala ko, of course, wala na ako dyan eh. Hindi niya ako magpasyon doon for sure. <laughs> Pero akala ko, di ba naman like a fashion show lately, akala ko lalabas talaga siya. Over the years, parang tinitingnan ko siya kung ilalabas niya. Hindi na nilalabas. So I don't know where it is now. Ay, sayang. Ay, it must be in her kaban. Ako, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, ma'am, talaga nang hinayang talaga ako why you didn't make it to talk to the semis. Kasi di ba, at that time, you were part of the beach beauty. You made it as one of the finalists of beach beauty. So at least yeah. parang, in a way, you should have made it to the first cut. No, that's just my opinion. Diba? Tsaka yung beauty mo, ma'am. Yeah, that's a sad Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh, talaga yun. Kasi Euro, parang gusto nila dark ako. So, alam mo yun. Um, so, mayroong mga sa styling, parang inanong na, sinadya na I'm so dark. Para, kasi Europe nga, gusto nila medyo dark skin or yung morena, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Was it your idea, Mom, then to wear? Um, uh, because if we if we compare your photos side by side from mm-hmm. Philippine, Philippines and yung mga photos mo sa Miss World, para something is quite di- it was quite different. Were you wearing something with your hair during your yes. time? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. As in, like I wore hair. As- wig talaga siya. Lili parang kini clip. Kasi yung uh-huh. yung hair ko. Dati kasi, um, hindi pa uso yung mga hair extensions na, alam mo yung mga natural na sa tignan, na oh, oh, ang ganda-ganda ganda na, o oh, na hindi halata. Naalala ko si Daniel dati, nag-ano din siya, nag-hair extensions siya. Pero, um, it's not as, it, it was not made as naturally as what it is now. para ang galing na ng mga hairdressers ngayon. Dati walang ganun eh. So parang yun yung quickest way na, para lang mabigyan ng ano parang bo- volume. volume yung hair ko kasi yeah. sobrang dipis oo dipis talaga yung buhok ko um, um, oh. eh sa binibini kasi parang 
merong certain looks eh na de ba parang I don't know if you, if other queens have told you this na daily meron kaming folder na nakaano na na ito yung pang Lookbook. breakfast lunch uh, dinner may mga looks mo de ba ganon mga evening uh, parang look may picture yan talaga at ano yung hair hairstyle mo everything it's so detailed kaya sobrang swerte ng mga Philippine ano um, candidates kasi sobrang nilo look after ka ng binibini ng Pilipinas Uh, when it comes to like mm-hmm. your wardrobes, can get it. Um, yes. na, na, they take care of everything. Yeah, even earrings. Yeah, take care of everything. All you have to do is like take the folder even out. Even your toiletries. Oh, that's <laughs> Your own uh, undies. Like everything. Undies, more like. So, so you don't have to worry about it. Everything. So talaga ano no, no. so talaga alala ko pa yung mga they allow designers to let us wear their you know exactly yun lang, true. they have to so provide so glad na... from ano from the nibini because we ha- like Anna and mm. I were very cool we have very good friends in the fashion industry in Cebu so we had like design we have designer friends who would be more than willing to you know create outfits for us and gowns for us but unfortunately we're not allowed during that time, allowed. Yeah. Bawal. To have sponsors, to have ano. So yun lang, yun lang yung ano. It, the, our outfits would have been also, you know, fab had we had this ano, this yeah. creations from the from the Cebuano designers. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Oh, because ano eh, talagang nakatali kayo management contract ng binibiging Pilipinas eh. So, pag sinuway niyo, patay kayo, di ba? So, that's understandable. So, yeah, kay Carla naman. Carla, did you expect to make it all the way to top five during your time? Did you? I was very hopeful. Like I told you, I was very, com- I, I was very determined. I was not as, com- I, I'm not, I'm not saying I, I was very competitive. Oh, yeah, competitive na rin. I was very determined. Like, I know I had to put my best put forward and I had to do everything but to be honest prior to going to Miss World I read this contract that if you're gonna win you're gonna stay in London and blah 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 for failure duties and all and I saw these titles like Queen of Oceania blah Queen of um, Europe Asia and Oceania yeah And there was there there were there's rumors they're gonna stay in the basement in the house of Julia Gordon or something. <laughs> I don't know Anna, if you heard those rumors. Yeah. Yes. Mga ganon. I, so I told my no, sister. No, it wasn't a rumor. It was in the contract. Ah, so, 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 I, I I read it then. Yeah. Pala, siguro. So I I saw. I told my sister. You know what? I think I'd rather be queen of Oceania so I can go back here and finish my college because <laughs> I really want to be a lawyer. I don't want to stay in someone else's basement. Sabi na sister ko, tanga, you have to win. Like, no, I will still get a crown if I win a question. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't want to be away for. Like, I was, I was like, you know, second year or third year co- college. So I want, uh-huh. I really want to go finish it. Like, I want to finish my 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 college degree. Because how can I be a lawyer if I don't graduate from college? So, sister ko, no, nandun ka na, you win. Win just the Just a win thing. <laughs> 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 you said in your you said a while ago your goal was to win mini, um, to be the first Miss World, right? Diba? Yes. So, pero so, naman doon ka na nagbago. Third option. Don't... I changed my mind. Hindi mo pala. What? I'm gonna live in some space, <laughs> man. Parang... Pero mami, hindi mo kinonfirm yun. Life pa. Uh, pero ma'am, kasi di ba gina- kasi the the page uh, Mr. World was held here so finally for the finally for the first time in so many years namit ko na rin yung mga staff members kasi si Julia Morley no Miss World organization so ikaw ma'am di mo kinonfirm yun sa staff members when you were there is it true is Arthur Rumors true that no, you like <laughs> buti na lang ma'am di mo tinanong I did yeah. actually I did my best nagpapansin talaga ako in Miss World like I I would sing this. Chi- I learned a Chinese song that um a, a, a friend of uh, Jude Bocasso taught me prior to going to Miss World. I would sing that, and everybody loved it. So, para wow, Miss <laughs> Philippines can sing Mandarin. Para so I would be on the news almost every night because of that. 
and then I would engage, you know, in conversational Mandarin because we had lessons. I had lessons also with um, Berlitz for Mandarin, mm. and then you know, the, the, I'm not a, I'm not an Anna knows I'm not athletic, I'm not sporty, but kinarir ko yung sports competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yun, I think na siyang mag collapse. Heart condition pa ako. <laughs> So I collapsed, and yeah, you know, I got the attention of Julia Morley because they were like fans. And I collapsed in the water. Yeah, true. She got yeah. Hindi ka nagplay sa sports category. So hindi ka nagplay sa. Hindi ako nagplay sa fifty because everywhere, like in the fan, I think in the talent, I'm. Oh my God! I cannot sing. I cannot dance. So, so I have to. I have to be in this talent competition. Outright, I could only write. So outright, parang I me. I wrote a. I I wrote a poem and then I I I you know I I I recited it with counting, acting, acting, pa cute cute and then I was I was surprised. I made it to the top fifteen by one or twenty of the talent. Parang oh my God, kapal na talaga ng mukha ko ng talent competition. Parang pinatulan ko na yung talent competition. So favorite ka. So naramdaman mo yun, ma'am. So so ano yun, ma'am? So nung pagdating mo nung nung sa China, sa Sanya, right? Sa Sanya, hindi mo pa nararamdaman na favorite ka. But as the competition went along for a month, dun ka talaga unti-unting napansin. Yeah, I I I honestly I felt very happy kasi parang the Chinese people were very parang parang appreciative. Like I would get lots of um I would get lots of um interviews from the local press, from the local media. Yes. I would have flowers sent to my room from some local people. Parang they parang they parang siguro they found me ano kind of um funny or I don't know outgoing, funded, engaging. Parang ganon. Because every time I see people, oh I'm talking Chinese, I would sing in Chinese. Par papansin talaga ako. <laughs> And it paid off, de ba? <laughs> yeah. So, what about you, Car? Uh, what about you, Anna? Do you have uh, do you have any unforgettable moments when you were competing in Miss World? Cut. Ano rin ba? Sobrang competitive din ng batch mo ng 2006. Um. Yeah. It was just competitive. Um. Ganun, ganun din ako, parang papansin din. <laughs> I think yun yung oh, ano eh, uh, parang challenge. You have to be, kasi, kasi you are 100, 100% yeah, so, kasi 100, 100 and plus candidates ang Miss World eh. Six, kasi like, yes. mala, marami talagang girls. Um, so kailangan, kailangan mong mapansin talaga. Kaya yung Pol- di, pa- Poland ako, ano yun, autumn, papuntang winter, yun yung time na nag-compete kami. So ang lamig. If first time ko in a very in a cold country. Tapos sabi ko paano ko kaya paano kaya ako mapansin? So every time may mga outdoor activities kami, hindi ako nag-coat. Tapos maikli yung mga suot ko. <laughs> mga body hugging ganyan. Um tapos ano na, para lang para lang ma- ako lang yung hin- ako lang yung dip. Friend. Um tapos tinawagan ako ni Madam, sabi ni Um where are all the coats? You need more? Alam mo, the next day, meron akong dalawang box ng more clothes in front of my room. Pinadala niya. Kasi, ano, um, she thinks na wala akong mga coat, mga jacket. Kasi nga, gusto ko lang mapansin na, ano, gusto ko lang talaga mapansin ako ng media na um, hindi ako nagkukot, hindi ako nagkukot. Pero ganun din, yung language, um, yung, ang galing ng Polish um, instructor ko, he taught me sentences and phrases in, in Polish. So people there thought I could actually speak um, Polish. Polish. So there was, an, there was an event one time na pinili nila si Miss Poland, si Miss Canada kasi half Polish siya, and ako to speak to the crowd in the, this big music festival. Tapos, um, wala lang kami per promote namin Miss World tapos ako wala baon yung mga baon ko lang ng mga phrases at ano in Polish parang tuwang tuwa na sila doon as in media in I love you kasi sila in Polish so parang nag ano ko eh um I think I I was like top 5 favorite of the media during that time um parang voted or parang ganun kasi nga nilalandi ko sila ng mga Polish <laughs> Polish ano ko, mga baon kong Polish sentences and phrases. Uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, ganun din. It was actually, it's actually fun. 
Yeah, mam, ako talaga. Experience to have. Um, oh. Alam mo, Anna, ako talaga, ano ba yung pinaka-first, um, ano nyo, major activity? I think it was somewhere in in a theater. Parang ang ganda ng castle, eh, castle tuloy, parang opera house. Yeah. Tapos you were wearing that opera red, house. sexy gown that previously worn by Karen Agustin. And, 